Welcome back to my channel. This is Mark Boaro and you're watching Pinoy Golfers Adventure. So uh, this round, uh, we are at Sembawang Golf and Country Club. So if you remember my earlier vlogs, uh, this was the second time that I will be playing this hole. So we managed to get a booking despite all the hardships <laughs> these days in Singapore. So here you can see my partner, Chong, preparing his bag. Uh, and we're about a few minutes uh, into our tea time, which is about 1.45 in the afternoon. It's a pretty hot day today, but here we are uh, starting to play with our round. All right, so my goal in this game is to loosen up um, the bit. And at the same time, trying to get more repetitive rounds so that I could uh, gain back the muscle memory, uh, hopefully. And at the same time, I would also like to improve on the uh, last round where I uh, shot still over 100 on a white tee and my first full 18 rounds. So no complaints. I just want to... At least see if there's some <clears throat> improvement in the uh, game and at the same time how I strategize this course so I hope my playing partners will uh, allow a white tee uh, this time round So one of the peculiar elements of golf is that you can play in the same course over and over again and realize that <laughs> because of its nature and the very nature of the game itself, uh, it's very difficult for, for a player to shot consistent scores simply because it's a uh, always changing and dynamic environment. So. So here we can see my partner already taking a second shot and for my case um, I hit a not so good tee shot off the uh, blue tee this time around. <clears throat> for my case I hit not so good tee shot including a second shot and only the third shot where I managed to get it close to about 85 yards or 85 meters to the green. So now um, Chong and I are going in to hit our next shot which is, um, for my case, it's going to be a wedge around 85 meters. So watch what happens. Regular, huh? you're wondering uh, well in, in our case in Singapore when we're playing without caddies so as you can see um, all of us players are um, do-it-yourself if you will uh, we gather our clubs and including our putters when we're about less than 100 meters to the green and let the uh, closer player with the closer ball um, drive the buggy all the way to the green so that's sort of like the rule um, in this part of the world now for me, <laughs> this brings back memories because I think on my first round, I also hit my fourth shot here, somewhere around this area, which is about 85 meters to the green. Right there, happy with that shot. Um, I think I'm left with about um, 15 footer to the green, 
I'm into the hole. So, no complaints for me, uh, especially this is the first hole and it's a tough hole at that. So, now we're driving to the green to uh, see where our ball uh, is positioned. And I think Xiong, my play partner, playing partner, hit a nice shot. So you have probably observed how steep the walk towards the green is <laughs> because as I mentioned in my last vlog, this is actually a very um, undulating fairways and greens because of its very nature and the way it's positioned on the hill in, uh, in Singapore. By the way, this time around I'm playing with uh, I think high handicap players uh, compared to my first round which is a little bit mid handicap players. So as you can probably observe their balls hmm. are they're overshooting the greens. The putting is all over the place. So I think those are telltale signs that uh, they're also struggling. And at the same time, they're you know trying to get as much round as possible so that they could be familiarizing themselves with the game. Oh, nice. <laughs> Okay, so now I think I'm left with about a seven footer, six to seven footer. Oh, misread that putt, so ouch. <laughs> Opening three putt, four on, so that's a triple bogey. Ooh, this is really a tough uh, opening hole to start with in Zimbabwe. Well, sometimes. It is during this uh, humbling moments where you realize this is really a uh, tough game to play. But then we, you know, we, we reason out that because you're playing on a different tee box, uh, last time around you're playing white, this time around it's blue, so it's longer in length. Therefore, it's not an apple apple comparison. So, those are the kinds of uh, realization that one would think in order for a golfer not to be demotivated. So. Marshall says number two, four, and ten. Buggy can go inside this one. Okay, hole number two. For those of you that are uh, watching the first vlog on this course, <laughs> it was a disaster on this second hole for me too because I hit my tee shot, I think just off uh, or very close to the hard path and I barely made it before the canal and I think I was like uh, four on the green and, and also two putt for double bogey. So, you know, now that I was able to gather my thoughts and and um, observe the layout of the scores uh, see what happens on this uh, particular hole as it unfolds so
Ah, go, 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 go. <clears throat> Probably tell from the way I'm talking to my ball that I wanted to go over the canal because I hit a solid tree wood. So at this point, uh, Chong and I are having just a friendly conversation about how um, his body is uh, <laughs> failing him. Obviously, you can, you can probably tell from his age that he's already uh, on his prime years and he is sort of like trying to compare his younger days where he can hit the ball farther and longer. And I think, you know, at this point, you realize that golf is really something that you can bond with total strangers so that you can, you know, at least give a, an insight to their personality, to their character. And I can tell that Chong is obviously someone who's very driven, who's very goal-oriented. And I think even in his prime years, he's still very uh, um, competitive, if you will. So, yeah, those are... The key things that people don't realize um, when playing this game. we're walking to our ball and the thing that comes to mind is that well for the very first time I will have the opportunity to hit this hole in two shots on the green um, but I think I was overconfident and I didn't pay attention to the slope of uh, this fairway so as you can see it's sloping towards my feet and so those kinds of adjustments I was not able to make and uh, therefore I was not able to hit a good shot in this uh, second shot towards the green. Hmm, I look up. <sighs> oh, confidence. Now I'm going for my third, which is about a good, you know, 40 meters towards the hole. So these are really the tough uh, pitch shots, if you will. So you have to be very careful to control your ball. <laughs> good shot. You see me where my, my ball landed, it's uh, a little over the green, pin high, with about six footer. And sometimes uh, those are the kinds of uh, breaks that made you come back for more in this game, right? So that was like a uh, almost gimme par already, but uh, see what happens.
Oops, I was not able to capture uh, with my GoPro. I thought it was running. But uh, unfortunately, that six footer turns out to be another two putter. So, well, last time around I was double, this time around I was bogey. So, well, one shot improvement. I can take that any time of the day. You know, sometimes it's very important for us to come prepared with the right mindset in this game because as you're about to witness in this uh, hole number three tough par five again, uh, there are still remnants of the last round in my head that's lingering there. Um, and as a result, um, I did a not so good tee shot, which ended up in very left hand side of the fairway. But unfortunately enough, I was able to bring it back to uh, back in play, ball in play. However, on my third shot, um, <laughs> I did a very nice long uh, three wood, or I think five wood, towards uh, the hole. But there's a bad break where my ball landed towards uh, the tree. So see what happened. So there was able to recover my uh, second shot back my ball into play into the fairway so I was thinking um, I'm gonna play conservative and hit it all the way fairway to the green and see what happens next it's about 328 so here you can see if, even if you're in the fairway on a par 5, uh, you don't want to go to the left because it's water, right is water and forest. So <laughs> those are the kinds of uh, peripheral vision that if you pay attention, uh, it might affect and impact your ball flight or your swing. And in my case, it did, <laughs> unfortunately. Good shot. And see what happens. Okay. There, I said it. <laughs> it went to the forest. Ouch. That would have been my third shot. And that would propel me to a good approach shot, which would be far, far better off to uh, compared to my last uh, round. Um, but again, this is life, this is golf. <laughs> Even if you prepare your mind uh, and uh, your body and everything is in order, there's still uncontrollable factors like wind perhaps or you know the swing plane all of those things are impacting the way you swing the ball and so here in my case I am now dropping for my fifth shot towards the green oh my gosh At this point, I have to drop at the red stick because that's the hazard uh, sign where that's where my ball is aligned when it went in. And I had to choke my five wood because that's about 190 meters still to the green. There, I think I hit a good shot there.
so that's where my ball ended up it's very very close to the green so i had to very delicate chip shot for my sixth onto the green so see what happens So I'm left with about another six footer, uh, but it's uphill and left to right. So these are the <laughs> money making pot, if you will. So I think at this point, I'm just trying to shrug off the uh, not so good memories of last round. And hopefully I will try to better off my score in this. So. But I still hit a tooth shot. Uh, triple boogie. Ouch. I hope he did not roll down left. My mind is that side. It's okay, your ball first. No, it's over. Yours is over, huh? Okay, no, mine no, is. No. Here, maybe he. Maybe this one is his. Oh, it's his right there. Maybe, maybe mine is there. Oh. Drop there. I take a look, huh? Yep. Oh, so it's also four to the inside. Now we're at hole number four, par five again. If you recall last round, uh, my first shot ended up on the water so i had to make a penalty drop this time around i aim a little bit on the right but still rolled all the way to uh beside the car path so you see what happens all right hey yours ah Okay, there's one more there. There's one more here. <laughs> Look yeah, at that break of the game. <laughs> yeah. All the wide fairways out there. My ball decided to land From here. beneath a rock. <laughs> Which I would not have a good shot uh, towards the... Uh, the uh, fairway but what I did was to lay up and try to avoid that big rock and again it's a uh, one of those breaks of the game okay. that you cannot control so just life has to move on okay, one, two, before the water okay. so I was not able to capture my third shot towards the green because okay. at this point I was a little impatient already <laughs> I wanted to hit it all over to the green but I ended up uh, chunking my flatting and chunking my shot therefore it went to the water so that's another ouch again but this is a good way to remind yourself to at least review your shots and learn from your mistakes so that you can be a better player as time goes by so I'm glad that we're having all this you know technology available cameras vlogs so you can really um, improve on your game there i hit a nice iron shot but still not able to reach the green yet uh, I'm, I'm left with a chip but happy with that already i crossed the water um uh and i am about to go for my sixth shot here i think at this point i did hit my sixth and i'm walking towards the green um and i think my ball is already uh, mark at this point and I'm just panning the camera 
while waiting for my co-players, uh, searching for their balls on the right-hand side of the fairway. And there, I think that's my ball, and I am going to mark it. So I overshoot a little bit. No, not that a little bit. There's, some, there's a lot. <laughs> and there you can see my playing partner uh, stuck on the right-hand side of the fairway. And they're trying to hit their shots towards the green. So as you can see, this is really a tough par 5. <laughs> All right. So you can probably tell all of us are struggling <laughs> on this hole which was really a tough par 5 because it's dog leg left and there's a lot of uh, challenges along the way undulating fairways and what have you so I think now we're on to hole number 5 par 4 Yeah, 104. If I remember correctly, I think last round That's I made ball. double bogey here. So this time round, I hit my third shot onto the green, which would leave me for... Three on. Well, three on, but unfortunately, another miserable three pot. Ouch, so... No improvement from last time, I still did the double bogey. So, move on again to the next hole, and Go this ahead. is a par 3, I think 127 meter um, elevated green. So, at this point, um, I'm just running through my mind the good shot that I hit last round and try to populate my mind with good memories if you will so okay I'm going to end my first leg of this uh, disastrous uh, front six hole in this difficult Zimbabwean course and uh, watch out for the succeeding holes because I think my luck has turned around after this hole and again thank you for watching uh, this is uh, Mark Boado and you're watching uh, Pinoy Golfers Adventure so see you again in my next vlog so for those of you that are subscribed thank you for those who are not uh, please go ahead and subscribe see you again in my next vlog thank you bye